Classic Joke Wednesday! And if you're looking for a quality video, you will probably not find it here. Here we go. Starting off Classic Joke Wednesday, it actually turns out that um, I did not write any jokes. I'm just gonna use this whole year of 2016 as just one really long running joke. Basically, I'm just gonna read off the events that have happened during this year and we can all reflect on them together just as the light is poorly reflecting off of my face and giving the illusion that I have no eyes. Ah, one thing to make this better. Hold on. Oh my gosh, look, it's Ellen. Wonderful. So, starting off Classic Jig Wednesday, as I said, we will read off of a list of all the events that have happened in 2016, so we can all reflect on them together. Like, wow, if we only had a Classic Jig Wednesday, maybe 2016 wouldn't have been this bad. Here we go. Start off. So remember back in January when that ball dropped and we're just like, oh my gosh, it's 2016. Someone must have opened an umbrella indoors because shit just began to hit the fan. We had the Oregon militia start up. I don't even know if that's how you say it. The Oregon. Oregon. I actually don't know how to spell that state's name, but the Oregon militia and so they're basically just a bunch of angry white dudes who just wanted to revolt and so then they spent like a bunch of our resources trying to get them to calm down and I don't even ever know what really happened to that we just stopped hearing about it for a while so maybe they joined the Nazi movement I don't know the rise of the neo-nazis which are basically just Nazis they're just the new Nazis they're also called the alt-right so whenever you hear that term just be like Nazi they're coming for us. Cannot forget the memes of 2016. Damn, Daniel. Uh, the Chewbacca lady, if you remember the Star Wars Chewbacca lady, where she got that mask and then she made that book. I don't know if it was a Facebook Live video or whatever, but a bunch of people watched it and they shared it because they all thought it was so cute. I saw the first three seconds of that and I was like, nope, I'm out. It, I was in and then I was right out. Like a bird diving down to get food, but then realized that they were not hungry. So they just left. Also 2016, we found the Zodiac Killer as he was trying to run for president. Like Ted Cruz didn't escape us that easily. We found him. Oh yeah, and then the whole like election thing itself. Delete your account, which you may have recognized. Well, runner up of the presidential election, Hillary Clinton, here that I've painted so that she can stay with me forever in this memory. Her proportions aren't quite right, but I do swear, I, yep, I put a nose on her. I just don't know how she didn't smell this loss coming. It's almost like she had this hope for America. But oh well, we're stuck with the we elected a racist orange. Oompa Loompa, it's fine. Brexit happened, I'm not really sure exactly the whole details about it, but there's something about like a bunch of people's lives falling apart and everyone was freaking out. I'm not really sure what happens over the sea, but that was one of the things and people were not happy. I hope you're doing well because we may need to join the monarchy again. Oh, Pokemon Go was a highlight of 2016 I would say until like a month later when they took away the tracking system everything got harder I could only catch Pidgeys and Rattatas but I got so many bug bites and sunburns from playing that game it really it just compiled all of those summers that I've spent indoors as a teenager not getting any sunlight or fresh air put it all into like one summer for a month or two and I got to feel what it is to breathe fresh air again and be part of humanity. Another item on our list was the Orlando shooting. Uh, hate crimes increasing on Muslims and the LGBTQ community, of course, can't forget those and the countless uh, unarmed black men who have been shot by police as well. That's been the theme of 2016. On a brighter note, who could forget the whole movement of dicks out for Harambe? Dicks out for Harambe. Filled your soul with... I was angry. Angry wasn't the word. Uncomfortable was mostly the word because it was just this meme that spread throughout all of these children. And I just didn't really know what to think about it. And then also 2016, so we're going to be wrapping up this episode here of just... I don't even know why you're still watching because it just got really depressing. But the death of like just major celebrities this year, you know, is really just bringing us down. Uh, you know, we lost David Bowie, we lost Prince, Carrie Fisher, like recently as of like yesterday, even though I saw an article that said, yeah, she had a heart attack, don't worry, she found it. she's fine, she's fine, she's in like stable, I don't know if it was stable or critical, very important detail, 
she just decided to leave. She's like, you know what, peace out. Don't want to see how 2016 ends. Christina Grimmie, who was shot in Orlando, not in the same Orlando shooting, separate, like, crazy fan. Then if you are really that crazy about me, just maybe reevaluate yourself because I'm not that interesting and please don't shoot me. Thank you. How can we forget the fucking clowns, okay? Let's just talk about this for a second. Everyone for a while just thought it would be okay to dress up as clowns and hide in woods and stuff and just creep on people. No, this, is, this is very, very uncomfortable. Why would you do that? Oh yeah, the mannequin challenge where everyone just decided to freeze up. There, there was always that one kid who just didn't know what was happening or didn't know how to participate in this family activity. It was probably the one that everyone was just like, oh my god, they're bringing that kid again. Well, yeah, they're part of the family, but are they really? We just did not know what was happening. It was just destined to ruin the family video. We don't know how many times this family has taken this mannequin challenge because you know, like one girl's holding up the coffee table and her arms are quivering. So you know she's been doing it for a while, but she's really committed. So that girl, that girl has it going. But then it's just, it's just that, just that six-year-old little cousin who doesn't know. This is just their family, family's legacy is all riding on this one moment, this one mannequin challenge video. They can be the best. They jerk around to see when the camera's coming to them. They're like, okay, okay, it's me coming up next. And now for you. Ruined everything for their family like 2016 has ruined everything for us I'm gonna wrap it up thank you for watching classic joke wednesday and sorry it got like really depressing but that was all that 2016 was so also i didn't write any jokes because uh, i can't really do that anymore just one depressing sack of potatoes <laughs>